Are you tired of getting rich the normal way? Well, good news. Today, you can get rich using one of these 10 ridiculous, maybe even absurd methods to print. And I mean print money. Enjoy. This first thing is actually more like a glitch, but it's a good one, so take note. You will never need a sheep ever again. All you need to do is buy a furniture catalogue for 200,000 gold and fill up your entire inventory with this yellow couch. It has to be this couch. Now what? Drop these couches into looms. Surprisingly, these couches will magically turn into cloth. With the artisan profession, each piece of cloth will sell for 658 gold. That means you will only need to sell 300 pieces of cloth to start making pure profit. Is this an effective money making mechanism? No, but this next one might just be. Rare seeds that turn into sweet gem berries aren't really the most reliable way to make a bank in this game. They take forever to grow and getting the seed is really unreliable. Unless you abuse the mechanics of the game accordingly. Did you know that rare seeds will always show every single Friday and Sunday during spring and summer? And they will be set at a fixed price for only 1000 gold. If I was you, which I am, I'd buy a seed here every single day during these seasons and grow them when fall hits. You can easily triple your money with just a little bit of effort. I mean, what else are you going to grow in fall? Pumpkins? You know what? That's actually a good idea. Pumpkins are great, especially when you turn those suckers into pumpkin juice. Speaking of pumpkins, you can dramatically increase your money making potential by abusing giant crops for profit and not just for decorative purposes. As you know, a giant crop can appear when a cauliflower, a melon or a pumpkin are grown in a 3x3 grid like this. However, if your grid is bigger than just that, the probability of a giant crop appearing is dramatically increased each and every single day. Either use iridium sprinklers with pressure nozzles to increase the size of the grid or use deluxe retaining soil so that there is not a single tile blocking any of your crops, ensuring you will get a giant crop or two each and every day. When chopping a giant crop down with an axe, they can yield between 15 and 21 crops, when compared to the 9 that it took to grow them. Do the math, it's substantial if you are printing giant crops. You do not want to miss out on these massive savings this holiday season brought to you by G2A. Head on over to G2A.com and you'll find this, a mystery box every day. Every single day between now and Christmas there will be a massive unmissable sale on your favourite games. Just take a look at what has already gone on sale, Jedi Survivors, Windows Keys, God of War and surprisingly one month of Tinder Premium. They really do have it all. You need to head on over every single day and see the next Surprise. I have already purchased a new copy of Windows for the server that I am building and G2A saved me a pretty penny. Don't miss out and thank you G2A for sponsoring this video. Fruit trees aren't that great, right? Like, they take forever to grow and barely produce anything valuable. Unless you fill up your entire greenhouse with only the most valuable fruit tree in the game. The humble banana, of course. Each banana sells for 150 gold. With 18 trees, that is 2,700 gold per day. And 75,000 gold per season. It seems low, but it's literally free money. Would you say no to free money? No, you wouldn't. Okay, hear me out. Have you ever found an infested floor in the regular mines, got annoyed and got out of there as quickly as possible? That is a mistake. Instead, eat some monster musk and use a burglar ring. Then hop right back onto that floor and slay as many slimes as you can. With these buffs, you will have a much higher chance of getting some good loot that sells for a decent penny. Monster musk will ensure that the mines are absolutely filled with little critters for you to slay. When completing the floor, just re-enter again and continue your journey over and over again. You will find slime eggs and as you know, these can sell for quite a bit. Okay, okay, hear me out now, alright? Void chickens lay void eggs. If you drop these into mayonnaise machines, they will produce void mayonnaise, which sells for 285 gold. Not bad. However, large regular chicken eggs will turn into gold quality regular mayonnaise, selling for 399 gold each. Somehow, these are more profitable. Then we have the mighty ostrich egg. Each ostrich egg will create 10 servings of mayonnaise. Additionally, they will also retain the quality of the 
egg resulting in even more profit if you are able to harvest iridium quality ostrich eggs then we have the elusive golden chicken making golden eggs surprisingly these are not as great as they might seem a single golden egg will produce three gold quality mayonnaise selling for almost 1200 gold this is not worth the tremendous effort required to get these I know that you abused fishing in the early game to get rich. It's no secret that fishing can make you a decent amount of money, especially if you use the fisher and the angler profession that will increase the sale price by a very impressive 50%. We might have to create an endangered species here, but it'll be worth it. Sturgeons, they are your ticket to wealth. A gold quality sturgeon sells for 450 gold. Catch 10 a day and that's 4,500 gold. You can catch them during both summer and winter and if you use some cooked food that makes fishing easier and wild bait you will be catching plenty of these with relative ease allowing you to fill your pockets or even better yet just exclusively catch the legend that sells for more than 10,000 gold this does require many more steps but can make you rich quickly except the extended family quest at mr. keys hideout now instead of completing the quest just catch the legend over and over again for three days straight sell them properly Profit. Simple, right? Did you know that you can go to the casino, win the jackpot and actually turn those useless casino coins into cash for your pocket? This is by far the most ineffective way to make money but gosh darn I'm going to make sure it is possible. Step 1. Win big. Easy. Then get as many deconstructors as you can. The more the better. Now trade in all of your casino coins for farm warp totems. You guessed it, drop those into the deconstructor to get honey. Now you could just sell the honey as it is but you could also turn these into meat by dropping the honey into kegs and once again you could age these in casks in your basement to further increase your profits I won't dare lie to you you're too smart for that this is a horrible way to make money so make absolutely sure to use this method what happens when you have a stupid amount of money in this game and nothing really to spend it on? I have made a billion gold in one of my playthroughs, I know all about that. Well, you could head on over to the casino and spend an hour or two clicking two buttons and buying hundreds of statues of endless fortune. These cost a million gold each, for most players this is ridiculously expensive and it does not really provide that much value. But if you have tons of these, well, then you can just sell all of the garbage it gives you every day, on average you should make about 800 gold per day per statue you do the math it'll only take a couple decades for this thing to pay itself off a worthy investment okay hear me out this is absurd i know but just do it it'll print radioactive ore is currently kind of useless the 1.6 update is around the corner and i can guarantee you that radioactive ore will be more widely used then but until then sell the stuff repeat floor one in the dangerous version of the regular mine stockpile that green gooey hard rocky stuff stone type substance, turn it into solid bars of pure toxicity and sell it, 4500 gold per bar. Don't forget to head on over to g2a.com for some incredible deals and I hope you enjoyed this video. You see this video here? Well this video goes over every single mistake that beginners need to avoid in Stardew Valley, so watch this next. But for now, I will see you in the next video. Peace.